Hello, beta. Good evening, everyone. Beta, welcome to the new series that I am starting from today. ये completely new journey होगी आप लोगों के लिए, where we will be going together and we will be studying the entire mathematical methods for economics. Mathematical methods of economics. In short. As we call it as MME one, MME one. ठीक है बेटा. The book that I will be following in this throughout that would be Sid Sater and Hammett. Right. I will be going ahead and doing each and every section of Sid Sater and Hammett. Sid Sater and Hammett में जितने sections हैं. जो भी है उसके अंदर मैं वो सब कुछ आपको एक्सप्लेन करने वाली हूं इन द अपकमिंग सेक्शंस इन दीज सेक्शंस आई विल बी क्लियरली मेंशनिंग वीडियो के आगे मैं आपको बताऊंगी कि मैं किस सेक्शन को रेफर कर रही हूं और फॉर मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ये जो हमारी बुक रहेगी मैथमेटिकल मेथड्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स सिट सेटर एंड हैमेंट की आई विल आल्सो बी पोस्टिंग दैट ऑन आवर ऐप हाँ, तो ये जो हमारी बुक है यू कैन गो हेड एंड यू कैन गेट एक्सेस टू दिस बुक सिटर एंड हेमेंट एन एम ई ऑन दी अर्थ पॉइंट एप एट द सेम टाइम बेटा वॉट एवर नोट आई हैव रिटन जो भी नोट इसमें यूज हो रहे हैं दो नोट विल ऑल्सो बी अवेलेबल फॉर योर यूजेज ऑन द अर्थ पॉइंट एप्लीकेशन तो ऑल ऑफ यू गो हेड एंड जस्ट डाउनलोड दिस एप and stay with me throughout the year as i go ahead and i try to complete this book with you theek hai beta theek hai beta so today i am going to just start with this and aaj ka jo hamara topic rahega that would be section 1.2 of sid sater and hammett acha this section 1.2 this is a very theoretical section although maths completely is a practical subject जस्ट दैट ये वाला जो सेक्शन है ये जो हमारा फर्स्ट सेक्शन है इट इज वेरी वेरी थियोरेटिकल इन नेचर तो दिस बेसिकली गोज अहेड इन सेज की मैथ्स पढ़नी क्यों है वाई वी हैव टू स्टडी मैथ्स राइट क्यों हम मैथमेटिकल मेथड्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स के पीछे पड़े हुए हैं वाई आर वी रियली इंटरेस्टेड इन इन स्टडिंग मैथ्स दैट इज वॉट दिस सेक्शन इज अबाउट ठीक है तो दिस सेक्शन गोज अहेड एंड इट सेज कि वॉट इज द इकोनॉम वॉट इज द साइंटिफिक मेथड यूज इन इकोनॉमिक्स मतलब अगर मेरे को इकोनॉमिक्स को एज अ साइंस बताना हो बट अब मेनी ऑफ यू विल बी डूइंग मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स आपको पता होगा कि जब हम इंडिया के बाहर मास्टर्स इन इकोनॉमिक्स के लिए अप्लाई करते हैं तो अलॉट ऑफ टाइम्स हमारा जो डिग्री रहता है दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड एज एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स तो हम एम एस सी इकोनॉमिक्स बोलते हैं right so basically our aim is to go ahead and to understand ki hum economics ko science se kaise link kar sakte hain and what is the science used behind economics ye section uske bare mein this is what this section tells now try to understand ki economics is called as empirical science empirical means in तो जो भी है जब भी हम रिसर्च लिखते हैं उसमें हम हमेशा बोलते हैं इंपीरिकल डेटा शोज दैट मीन्स पास्ट डेटा शोज तो इंपीरिकल डेटा बेसिकली इंपीरिकल साइंस का ये मतलब है कि जिस भी चीज को हम डेटा के थ्रू एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं एनी थिंग दैट कैन बी एक्सप्लेन थ्रू डेटा दैट इज कॉल्ड एज इंपीरिकल साइंस जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टेल यू की वेरिएबल एक्स एंड वाई आर गिवन टू मी When x is two, y is four. When x is four, y is eight. When x is eight, y is sixteen. So I am able to go ahead, and I am able to see that y is two times of x. Right? I am able to also see that y and x may there is a positive relationship. There is a positive relationship. जैसे जैसे x बढ़ रहा है एज x इज इंक्रीजिंग y इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीजिंग y भी बढ़ रहा है सो एनी थिंग दैट कैन बी एक्सप्लेन बाई डेटा अगर हम किसी भी चीज को डेटा को पढ़ के एक्सप्लेन कर पा रहे हैं बाय लुकिंग एट द डेटा इफ आई एम एबल टू गो हेड एंड इंटरप्रेट दैट डेटा एंड आई एम एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट थ्रू द डेटा देन वी गो अहेड एंड वी कॉल दैट एज 
empirical science because we are explaining it using data hum usko data ke through explain kar rahe so since in economics we look at the data and by looking at data we start interpreting acha if i have a demand schedule agar mere paas ek demand ka schedule ho jaye just my go ahead and tell you ki beta this is price and this is quantity and i tell you ki acha acha price 10 quantity 20 price 20 quantity 10 price 30 quantity 5 क्वानिटी हम जो लॉ ऑफ डिमांड पढ़ते आते हैं वॉट एवर लॉ ऑफ डिमांड वी स्टडी विच सजेस्ट दैट देर इज इन वर्स रिलेशन बिटवीन price and quantity demanded we are able to understand that law of demand through this data hame ye data ke through samajh mein aa raha hai we are able to understand the law of demand through data right so when we go ahead and we try to understand empirical science why are we calling it when we try to understand economics through data it becomes empirical science okay now there are mainly five main steps involved in this empirical science it five main steps hain jo hum isme include karte hain five main steps included the first step that we have beta that is called as collection of data sabse pehle hame data ko collect karna hai we need to collect the data the data that we are collecting it can be qualitative or it can be quantitative right for example i know that i know that there is an inverse relationship between the law uh, between demand and price there is an inverse relationship between demand and price but aisa kabhi to hua hoga ki ye relationship known nahi hoga there might have been some time aisa koi ek time life mein raha hoga when people didn't know about the law of demand unhe law ke bare mein bilkul nahi pata hoga ki law of demand kya hota hai to us time pe suppose mujhe ye relationship nahi pata i don't know the relationship i don't know law of demand mujhe ye law of demand nahi pata ab kya hua i run a store us store mein mere paas ek product hai and i started seeing ki as i increase the price of my product jaise jaise main apne product ka price badha rahi hu the quantity is continuously decreasing mere product ki quantity girti ja rahi hai as i am increasing the price of my product the quantity demanded is continuously decreasing right so this is giving me a hint ki acha as price increases quantity demanded decreases and how do i know about it by collecting quantitative data right so the first step is the collection of the data collection of data may data can be either qualitative or quantitative this is an example of collecting the quantitative data ki i am collecting the data at different prices what is the quantity demanded alag alag price pe kya kya quantity demand ho rahi hai iska maine data collect kiya and after collecting this data main isko analyze karungi i will try to analyze it. now the second thing that i have that is called as qualitative data collection to so qualitative data collection mein what are we doing beta this is i have a store i announce that price is 10 and then i see how many people visit my store bahut sara bheed lag gayi people form a queue there are many people who are visiting the store when my price is 10 now what i do i just go ahead and i announce acha acha no price is 20 and now i see oh less people are visiting my store only four people are visiting my store so this is a qualitative data i am not finding the quantity sold i am just looking at quality and trying to see how much is the crowd samajh lo maine koi quantity sold nahi dekha maine sirf ye dekha acha kitni bheed hai what is the crowd how much is the crowd and based on the crowd i am thinking oh when i lowered when i increased the price the number of people are decreasing 
right? So this is a qualitative analysis. So the first thing that we go ahead and we do is we collect the data. The data can be qualitative or the data can be quantitative. The second step that we go ahead and do beta that is called as numerical and statistical processing of observed of the observed data. Mane ki I have got that at price 10, yera mera quantity. At price 20, yera mera quantity. At price 30, this is my quantity. So at different prices, I have found out different quantity. Alag -alag price pe maine alag -alag quantity ko likh Now I will process this. Ki, okay. When I changed my price by 10 rupees, when I increased my price by 10 rupees, by how much did my quantity fail? Earlier, people were demanding 100 units, now 80 units. So, 80 minus 100, that means minus 20. So, quantity reduced by 20 units. Right? So, when I increase my price by 10 rupees plus 10, Quantity decreases by 20 units minus 20. This relationship that what is the change in quantity when there is change in price is processing the data. Here you are processing the data. Ko kar rahe ho. Finding elasticity. All of you have heard the word elasticity. So finding elasticity of demand is processing the data. Usko data processing bolte hai. Right. So when we go ahead and when we process the data, ki achha, jab price itne se change hua, to quantity kitne se change hogi. That is the second thing that we perform. The third thing that we go ahead and do, beta, usko bola jata hai, constructing theoretical model. Constructing theoretical model. Okay, now we have that when we increased the price by 10 rupees, my quantity decreased by 20. So, when there is increase in price, there is decrease in the quantity. When we go ahead and we construct a model around it, if I write in language, if I make it around a model, if I make it around a mathematical model, look, the change in quantity is minus 2 change in P. है. Then here I have created a model. A theoretical model bana diya hai ki jab jab price 10 se badega tab tab quantity 20 se fir reduce ho chahi. So when I create a relationship, a theoretical relationship, try to understand this thing. Jab make relationship bana do, just say for example if I make something like this beta, ki dekho the quantity demanded, this is going to be 40 minus 8p. When I go ahead and when I form this kind of relationship, when I write a relationship, when I write an equation, this equation is showing inverse relationship between price and quantity demanded. Then this is basically going ahead and creating a model. This is telling me, one, that there is inverse relationship, Mane law of demand. And secondly, based on the data points mujhe diye hue the, based on the data points I have, based on the price quantity combination I have, yahan par maine ek equation likh diya hai. I have gone ahead and I have written an equation out of it. Okay? So this is called as constructing the model. Okay? This fourth step is using theory to make prediction. Ab ye model to mere paas aagya. I have got this model. Now, if in the future, ne, suppose after getting this model, someone asks you, okay, okay, in 2025, I am going to keep the price at 10 rupees. Can you tell me how many quantity I will be able to sell? I will be able to sell how many quantity I will be able to sell. So, it will be 100 minus 4 into 10. That means 100 minus 40. That means 60. Right. So basically what this is doing now, this is using theory to derive prediction. You are predicting the future. Aap future ko bata rahe ho ki dekho, jab price 10 hoga, to aapka jo quantity rahega, that would be 60. So when you use, you know, the equation, jo bhi aapne equation ye derive ki hai, to go ahead and predict the future, that is step number 4. Now, whenever you will be doing this prediction, jabhi bhi aap ye prediction karoge, there will be some error. 
अब एक्चुअल में जब हम 2025 में सपोज पहुंचेंगे व्हेन वी विल रीच 2025 तो इट इज पॉसिबल ना कि एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी सोल्ड विल ओनली बी 40 यूनिट्स और ऐसा भी हो सकता है कि एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी सोल्ड विल बी 70 तो जो हमने प्रेडिक्शन की थी बेस्ड ऑन आवर मॉडल व्हाट एवर प्रेडिक्शन वी हैड मेड इट इज पॉसिबल दैट यू कैन सेल लेस और मोर देन दैट आप उससे ज्यादा भी बेच सकते हो और उससे कम भी बेच सकते हो are you understanding this so there is some error that you might be committing and based on that error jo bhi error aap commit kar rahe ho you can go ahead and you can correct your model aap apne model ko correct kar sakte ho you can improve on your model right so the fifth step the last step that we have here that is basically correcting and improving the model usme hum model ko correct karke usko improve karte hain so these are the five steps that we have the first step is beta where you go ahead and you collect the data. Aap sabse pehle data ko collect karoge. Then you will go ahead and you will do numerical and statistical processing of the data. Aap data ko process karoge. Then you will go ahead and you will construct a model around it. Aap uske around model banaoge. You will use that model for the purpose of prediction. Uske through aap predictions karoge. And ultimately you will go ahead and you will be correcting your model. You will be improving your model is this clear okay better thank you so this is section 1.2 of sid sater and hammond ek bari main dobara repeat kar deti hu aap logo ke liye puri book jaise jaise hum karte jayenge puri sid sater and hammond ke notes artha point app par available ho jayenge and at the same time i will try ki chapter by chapter i will also scan the book and i will share that book pages also on this app so I wish to, um, you know, see all of you uh, joining this course with me and doing this course along with me. Okay, beta. I will see you in the next lecture now. Thank you.